Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've sat down and filmed a video. It's been a whole month since my last upload, but I am coming to the end of the craziness um, just to start some more craziness back in January, but it is what it is. Hopefully I'll we'll have a lot more Christmassy videos out for you this month, um, but let's start with our first video. Um, I know it's already been a week of December. I got this box back in November, so it's been a while. I've been waiting to open this for you guys, um, but it's kind of fitting for it to be December because this is the Wizarding Trunk Yule box. I forgot what the actual name of it was for the Wizarding Trunk, um, but it's based off of the Yule Ball, um, which is not around Christmas it is Christmas it's Christmas Day is when the Yule Ball happens so it's kind of fitting to share it with you in December let's look at our box there was some damage to it as you see there's a big old massive hole I can stick my hand in there um, I did receive it this way so hopefully everything inside is fine and not broken but I didn't want to point that out because um, it's obvious but Aside from that, look how pretty this box is. It's blue, it is Christmas, it is like, you know, icy, icicle. We've got some bottles here that are, I guess, kind of could mimic, you know, the pumpkin juice, the glass pumpkin juice bottles. It's blue, more bottles, and then we got footprints pretty much all around the box. We've got some people dancing. Wizarding Winter, is this what the box is called? It's called Wizarding Winter. I don't know, but same designs with feet, feety, feety, feet, and a bunch of feet on the bottom. So it's like dancing, you know, dancing at the Yule Ball. So with that, there's our box. Let's get into the unboxing. Okay, so first look, <laughs> look at that box. Um, there, there's a pattern here. It's kind of like a snowflake pattern. Um, and then more dancing feet. I think this is actually the special edition box and not just the regular bi-monthly box. Because I think I get a bi-monthly box sometime <laughs> this month. So, yeah, we get two more boxes. I know my last, um, video on my channel was an unboxing. But I love these and I want to get to it. And it's been a month and I've just, it's just been sitting, it's just been sitting at the end of my bed. So, first thing I see is a shirt, it looks like. Let's open this up. So, got it open. It is like this burgundy shirt. And it's another shirt. Of, it's a, another shirt. It's another um, Salem Sisters shirt. I think we've gotten one before. And it's to take on the Weird Sisters. Because, you know, the magical band that plays, that played there um but yeah we've got another weird sister tour shirt i think the last one was green i can't remember um but yeah it's this really pretty burgundy color i, I want it to be okay because they're kind of like a rock band right i want a black shirt with like white writing or like you know something like that's more rock and roll if that makes sense i want something that's more like emo i guess edgy <laughs> um color wise but I do like burgundy so this is still pretty this is more Christmas you know the green and burgundy uh, but this is what the shirt looks like there's the design I wonder if the design is the same or different I think it might be different I don't think it was a drum set and it says winter tour 93 and then on the back it's all the places they you know all the toured places they've toured I guess um, the great hall is on there, which I think is cute. So that's our first item. Next, let's go in with something small. We've got a little burgundy bag, a little velvet bag, and it feels like a pen. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I think this is the Burroughs. So I think it's the Weasley's house. Um, but Christmas fied christmified <laughs> it looks like a gingerbread house with snow and you know candy canes and stuff and little gumdrops that is so cute i really love that i think that is a very cute design and i love that the 
um, and you've got some sparkly enamel and it's not like it's flat it's not textured um, but that is so cute I love that next item I see looks to be a pair of socks and I think I'm not sure but this kind of looks like Ron it's like Ron's sweater or something that Ron would wear um, I wonder if it's even like his frilly coat I don't know I don't know, but this looks like something Ron would wear, but these are really nice socks. Yeah, look at these. Some fuzzy, warm socks. Yeah, I would definitely be wearing these. They're really cute. I like the patterns, um, but yeah, super warm, but I, I do think it's part of Ron. I would love these to have like a pair of hand warmers also, like arm things. I think those would look really cute too to match the socks. So wizarding trunk, I'm just saying, <laughs> I want some arm warmers. All right, next item is another unlocking magic. So it's probably one of our keys, but this, look at the shape. It's different than what we've had before. Normally have like the skinnier long boxes and this is like full square. So let's see what this looks like. This is so cool. I'm gonna show you individually, but it is certified healer. So this is you know, to the infirmary, key to the infirmary. If you're a healer, this is so awesome. So let me show you every little piece we get. Here's our key, which is super cool. We've got like serpent wings, the little keyholes, like the, you know, like the cross, the medical cross, another medical cross, got like bones and a wand, like X thing. That's cool. Super cool. And then we've got a little charm to go with it. This one that says certified healer. Which is super cool. Got what looks like to be like an eagle and a snake. That's just a really cool charm. Like I could see myself like turning that into a necklace, right? I don't know. I think that's cool. And then the thing that I think is the coolest out of the keys that we've never seen before with Wizarding Trunk keys, they are stepping up their game for these keys. My goodness, they're just getting better and better. We've got Blood Refilling Potion to go. Another little charm. So there's a little label and then there is the potion itself. It's just like a bunch of red beads or I'd like to think they're little red blood cells. That's what I would like to think. This is super cool. And you know I love potions. So this is like right down the potion aisle. Um, literally. But that is the coolest thing. I freaking love that. Let's put it all together. So here is the key all together with the charm, the key, and the potion. That is the coolest freaking thing. Um, the key, if I'm saying the key, this is probably another, this is probably one of my favorite keys now. The Slytherin key is still my favorite. It's still on my everyday bag, but this is a close second. Just looking at the key itself, the key design, I still really love my Slytherin key, but I absolutely love this. This is going on a bag for sure. I love that. All right. The next item is in this box. It looks like a little cabinet. Mm hmm um and it has that logo for uh, Malfoy Manor so it's got to be something related to the Malfoys um but I like this box so let's go ahead and open it up we've got styrofoam okay we have seen these before it is a declaration of, you know, the rules that Dolores um, implemented at Hogwarts. We got one in a previous box, and I think it was about, um, about like the evil people or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but we got another one that says declaration number 88, bewitched snowballs not permitted on school ground. So it is a seasonal themed one. Um, I wonder if there are different ones and if they're all seasonal or if it's just one this this time. Um, but yes, it's just another little hanger. And yeah, you just hang it around. All right, now to go with what we just opened, a decoration about 
no enchanted snowballs. Here's a box that says snowballs from Weasley's Wizarding Wheezes. So it's sh surely there's something up with it. Um, bewitched. So they are enchanted snowballs. So we've got some enchanted snowballs or something of the sort. I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't opened it. Um, but I just think that's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but this box is really pretty. Look at this. Snowball, bewitched snowballs. Um, and there's little snowballs with the little logo on it. Um, it's just all over. Ooh, and the back says, it says, Witter Shine's bewitched snowballs are charmed to perfection. They always hit their target and never melt. Mm. Patent pending. <laughs> um, so yeah, Witter Shine is their joke shop, um, thing for copyright purposes. And this is a potion. Okay. 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 Okay, you know I love potions, so I'm just ecstatic about this. I, I'm I'm always happy to get another Weasley's Wizarding Weezes potions because they they're always so creative looking. And I sadly broke one of mine, so I have zero Weasley potions, Wizarding Weezes potions, because <laughs> uh, I didn't get the orange one. I I signed up for the box afterwards and so I got the purple one but then I broke it so I have zero Weasley potions um but this one is the bewitched snowballs that never melt and never miss but look how cute so there is the little label we've got a purple charm here with its iridescent you know metal um, the wax is silver with their logo, but look what's inside, you guys. It's this pretty light blue, and we've got little tiny snowballs in here. That is so cute. Oh, there is glitter in there. Let me shake it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, see? There's glitter in there, so it's also very sparkly and magical. This is probably one of my favorite potions, the little tiny snowballs. I love this so much. Let me know what you think about this uh, potion. Let me know what you think about the, the wizarding, the, the Weasley potions. Um, Cause those are some of my favorites I find. It's either the Weasley ones that are very kooky or the very dark ones that could be like from Borgen and Burks. Those are like polar opposites, but those are my like favorite kinds of potions. <laughs> The next item in here is in another one of those little, like, fake leather boxes. Um, very nice box. So I'm wondering if it's jewelry because we've gotten one before and it was jewelry. Oh, is this an ornament? It's an ornament. Get off. You're invited. So I guess this is our invitation to the Yule Ball. Um, and it's this really pretty snowflake on a blue string, and it says, you're invited, um, if you can see. This one's a little hard to see. Um, I don't know if it shows well on camera, but it is this very pretty icy blue, um, and you've got the, like, ice sculpture in the back, um, and then you have little people dancing. Oh, that is so, I love that. That is so pretty. This is going on my Christmas tree. This is so pretty. This is such a pretty little snowflake. That is such a cute item to include. Last item before we get into paper products. And we've got a big brown box here. Let's open it up. <laughs> styrofoam flying everywhere. We've got more styrofoam. So, I'm in certain. Oh, this is darling. We've got a Christmas cake. It's just a little resin cake. Um, it's Christmas. It's white with this little Christmassy bow on a red platter. And we've got a little snowman right there. Um, I don't know what the reference is. Uh, I'm probably missing something. So there's the last item. All right, moving on to paper products. I see some recipe cards in here. So let's see what we got. We've got four recipe cards. So the first one is, I don't know what that is. I, I'm saying things all wrong. I have no idea what that is. Um, but yeah, we've got a recipe for that. 
saffron in it. Wow. Then we've got pork chops with roasted root veggies. Um, then we've got Hungarian goulash. And then last we have that same word I can't say. <laughs> Was it boilar? I don't know. And then this is the last one. I'm not, you know, I don't know. My reading skills. I have no idea what that says. So yeah, I don't know what these are. Um, yeah, more recipe cards to try out. The next paper product we have is another sheet for our magical creatures from A to Z. And this is why. So we, ah! okay, so we have the Yeti. Because, of course, a snowy, the abominable snowman. Um, and then I'm so happy about the back one because I was just talking about this the other day. We've got the Yule Cat. I love the Yule Cat. One, because I love cats. Two, it's a black cat. And I like folklore and uh, mainly, apparently a lot of Nordic folklore. Um, although it's like, it, although it's Icelandic. But I was just talking about the Yule Cat yesterday and how uh, it's this giant cat that you know, eats you if you don't get new clothes for Christmas. And it was for the farmers who worked in the wool, you know, wool farmers to hurry up and get their, you know, all their stuff done before Christmas. Um, and if they did, they got clothes. And if they didn't, you didn't get clothes and then you get eaten. So pretty much there's a lot more information here. So I'm excited to read this, but I love the Yule Cat. This makes me so happy that they put the Yule Cat on there. I don't know why. A little information about the Yule Cat if you didn't know what the Yule Cat was. But that is our um, book page for why. Next thing we have in here, we've got another music sheet. We've gotten something similar to this before that's a lot longer and bigger and it's a different song. This one is God rest ye merry hippogriff. <laughs> so that's cute. Look at all that foiling, so fancy. But I absolutely love this. And the last item in our box is another enchanter. <laughs> Look at that, we've got a Santa Claus with some festive spectra specs there. Um, super cute, the enchanter midwinter magic. I just gotta show you this. Ah, it's Santa! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna flip through the pages real quick. We've got uh, Enchanted Threads and Tassels. We've got the contents. So there's those pages. Games that they always have in there. Ooh, spiced mead. I love that. I love me some mead. And I just got my grandma hooked on mead because of fair. Um, and a recipe for gingerbread loaves. Super cool. I'm gonna see if that mead recipe is actually... I'm gonna try it. Because we've made mead before. Or my fiance made me before. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I, I tried it. <laughs> more little articles. Look at Santa in the middle. That's so freaking cute. Even more articles. Love the art as always. I just, I just love the art. And then we've got our, you know, crystal. Or is it crystal of the, whatever? Their featured crystal, the lucky ruin, and their horoscopes. I'm gonna read one horoscope, which is Gemini. You're welcome, Mother Gemini's. Um, Gemini. You are full of enthusiasm, but that also means you can take on too much. Slow down and take time for yourself. That hmm. uh, made a lot of sense the last month <laughs> when I actually got this too. Um, then we've got our ads and then the credits to who everybody who's helped make this wonderful enchanter. You know, the enchanters are my favorite things and I will definitely be reading this all later. So that is it for this box. Let's get into our cheat sheet. So Wizarding Winter, that's what the name of the box is. Wizarding Winter. I called it the Yule box, but you, you should understand why. <laughs> Number, oh, but before we get into our cheat sheets, let's talk about my favorites and least favorites in the box. So for my favorites, it has to be the Enchanter and the Bewitched Snowballs. Like how cute is this? A good close third um, is the keys that we got, which is super cool. I love, they, they just keep getting better and better. But 
this one is my absolute favorite. I just love the way this looked and looks and how it came out. Um, how it came out like I knew what it was before. <laughs> but yeah, these are my top two favorites of this entire box. I always love my enchanters and I always love my potions, but this one is just like really cute. <laughs> now my least favorite in the box probably has to be the Christmas cake. It's cute, um, but not something that really goes with you know, something I would probably display all year round, like I would other things in the collection, like even the snowball thing, like this is very Christmassy, but it's, you know, potions, goes on my potion shelf. This is not something I feel like I would display. It's still nicely made. It looks pretty and cute, but yeah, this would probably be my least favorite for those reasons. Now on to this cheat sheet. Number one, your invited ornament, an ornament to adorn your Christmas tree each year as a reminder that you were invited to the ball on the most magical night of the year, designed for us by J.P. Mistlecorp. Number two, winter ball recipe cards. Each of the visiting schools were represented by a dish at the ball for dinner. The recipes were provided for the elves to prepare. Recipe by the wizarding trunk, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Oh! Okay. Okay, that's why. It's French. That makes sense. That makes so sense. The Hungarian goulash. Okay. Makes sense now. It makes sense. Very interesting. Cute idea. Very cute idea. Makes sense. Very cute idea. I didn't get it at first, but very cute idea. <laughs> Number three, snowman Christmas cake. The snowman on this cake will skate around until the cake is cut and served on Christmas day. Number four, mother socks. Every child receives a pair of knit socks for their mother on Christmas morning. Number five, gingerbread house pin. You will receive one of the two variants of magical gingerbread houses. These were designed for us by JP Mistlecrow. Number six, magical decoration. There have been two more magical declaration, oh, declarations, my bad, issued for this holiday season. Which one did you receive? Designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number seven, bewitched snowballs. These snowballs have been bewitched to never melt and always hit their target. Give your bottle a good shake to activate, to activate the wintry magic within. Bottled for us by Pure Blood Apothecary and label design by Wizardry Workshop. Number eight, the Enchanter Magazine. This edition Chanter is all about wizarding winter. Be sure to subscribe to our quarterly boxes so you never miss out on an edition of the Enchanter. <laughs> Written by a talented group of witches and wizards designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number nine, Creature Page. This Creature Page is torn right from the Magical Creatures A to Z book and teaches you all about two magical creatures you would encounter during wizarding winter. This item is a collaboration between the Wizarding Trunk and Wizardry Workshop. Number 10, God Rest Ye Merry Hippogriff Sheet Music. We often find ourselves filled with cheer around the holidays and you never know when someone may start singing a, Chris a Christmas carol. God Rest Ye Merry Hippogriff is our personal favorite, written by the Wizarding Trunk, designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number 11, Salem Sisters Winter Tour Shirt. Everyone that attended the concert in the Great Hall on December 24th will have received this winter tour shirt from the Salem Sisters. These magically soft shirts were designed for us by Wizardry Workshop. Number 12, Magical Hospital Key. Here's hoping that you don't have to spend your holidays in a magical hospital, but if you do, take comfort in knowing that you're being looked after by the, a certified healer. This key will allow you in any room in the hospital designed for us by J.P. Bisselcrow. So, and then this box's editor's choice is Potter Poppet. And there is her YouTube. And yeah. So, let me know what you thought about this box. I thought it was super cute. It is very festive. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed this box a lot. So, with that, uh, make sure you subscribe to see more. Um unboxings and hopefully more wintry Christmassy videos this month. Um, and with that, I'll see you next time. Bye! God rest ye merry hippogriff, let nothing you dismay, for in the skies above us